is the state of your mind moving you forward or backward in life. I'm going to continue from where I stopped last week about how your mind affects your life. Keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Afalaka Janet Oyelami. But before I continue today, I would like to share the keyword that summarizes today's topic. Today's keyword says, your mind is a battleground. Can't you see what the Bible says on Judgment Day, the secret of the mind, the thought that went through your mind will be revealed. This means that your mind is what determines your life experience. If you believe you are poor in the mind, that is what you will experience. If you believe you are rich in the mind, that is what will happen. Like I said last week, most of what happened to us, most of our life experience started from what we are thinking in the mind. It started from the Bible. Let me show you how your mind works based from what happened in the Bible. Example of how our mind works. In the Bible, God told Abraham to look up to the sky. And God said, what do you see? Abraham replied, he sees the stars. God replied, what you see is what you get. Last week, I shared three different ways on how your mind work and how it affects your life. Today, I'm going to share three more ways your mind work and how it affects your life. If you want to know the first three parts on how your mind work and how it affects your life, your finance, your marriage, your job, your business, check my last video. But today, let me go straight to the point by sharing the three main ways on how your mind affects everything in your life. Number one, try your best to eat healthy food. Try your best to eat healthy food, vegetables, fruits. In the Bible, based on the story we had about Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, we were told that there were fruit and vegetables. There is a reason why God created each fruit and each vegetables. They are good for our body and each fruit and vegetable have what they do in the body. They are also used for healing in the body. If we look at our forefathers, they use fruits and vegetables and herbs for a lot of healing in the body and for healthy lifestyle. So try your best to eat healthy food. Sometimes ago, I watched a short video about how our third eye work. This guy in his video, he said, we all have third eye. If you eat healthy food, your third eye will be alive. If you eat bad food, your third eye will be blind. So that shows that there is a reason why God created every fruit and vegetable. For your own good, for my own good. For your own healing, for my own healing. Fruit and vegetable. We affect how your mind works. We affect how your third eye works. So, choose to eat well. Number two, exercise. Exercise well. Exercise is good for your heart, is good for your mind. I have talked about how exercise affects our life in my past video. But today I will only encourage you to keep on doing more exercise because it's good for the heart, it's good for the mind, it's good for your brain, it's good for every part of your body. Adopt exercise as part of your lifestyle. The only advice I will give on exercise is this. Don't exercise except it is good for your body. It's okay for your body. Try some little exercise, stretching, yoga, 
Try some of this exercise. If it's good for your health, continue it. But if it's affecting you in one way or the other negatively, stop and research on what kind of exercise suits your own personal body. And lastly, number three, remove negative people away from your life. Let go of negative people away from your life. I learned this from Brian Tracy. The more you have negative people around you, the more they talk about negative over your dream, over you, the more they call you names, the more they say you are bad, the more they say you look like this. Some people even call their friends, they look like monkey. You don't need those kind of people in your life. The more you have friends that are negative and are laughing about some things you do and are laughing about your dream and are talking negative about your hair, about your eyes, about your body, about anything you do in life and it's affecting you in your inner mind, let go of those people. You don't need to get angry or upset about what they do to you. What you need to do is gradually let them go. Gradually withdraw yourself away from them. The more you stay around negative people, the more you get stressed out with their negative word, the more you become unhappy about what they say about you, the more your mind cannot work effectively. The more you cannot have time to think positively, to get ideas about how to move forward in life. Let go of negative people out of your life. Then you will have time to think, you will have time to pray, you will have time to meditate, you will have time to get more ideas during your meditation time. And then you will have time to move fast forward in life. I hope this encourage you to run after your dream, to work on your mind, become who you are meant to be in life. Speak to you soon. God bless.